In the previous lesson, we talked about how the O sound in English requires moving the lips. But is the O sound the same? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Josh, your American English guide. Today I want to start by revealing the winners of the 100 subscriber special. Now I have very good news. There were only about four or five comments, so because there were so few, all of you will be receiving a copy of my book, How to Learn a Language, Building Your Path to Fluency. So congratulations. In order to receive your free copy, simply go to the About section of my YouTube channel and send me an email using the email that is listed. I will send you a free copy of the ebook directly to your email. Now back to the O sound. First, I asked a question at the beginning. Is the O sound and the O sound the same with the rounding of the lips? Yes. The O and the O both round the lips. You have to be very active with that movement. Now specifically, if we look at the placement on the vowel chart, we see that it is using the back of the tongue, just like the U, but it is a little farther down and not exactly in the same place forward to back. The good news, just like with the U sound, you can use your native language O and simply add rounded lips and that will immediately make you sound better. You might have to do a little change with the exact position if you want to get an even better sound. And again, also make sure that your tongue is not really stiff and rigid and tight. We want it to be kind of relaxed. The other thing about this, where the oo is very high, like e, oo, e, oo. Okay, so the jaw isn't going to open very much. With the O sound, we're actually going to have the mouth a little more open, as you can see from the height placement on the chart. It's not as high as the OO, but you want to have a little bit more movement. Instead of OO, 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 where the jaw doesn't really move, we are going to move the mouth a little bit, but it needs to be more open to start. O, 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 O. Oh, oh. Now a common mistake when trying to make this sound is you might open your mouth too much and then try to close it like ow, ow. We don't want to do that. That's very bad. If you don't open enough, you might say like oh, oh, oh. And that's also going to be weird. So play with it to find the exact position. Look at your native language vowel chart and see the position compared to this vowel chart and you can make little changes. And again, remember to relax your tongue a little bit. You should feel a little bit of motion in your tongue. Just not like it's trying to move, but just a little bit. Oh, oh. Let's talk about some common spelling patterns and some example words. Now, like I said before with the oo sound, unfortunately, the spelling patterns aren't as consistent or reliable, although there is some good news with the o sound, as we'll see soon. First, let's talk about just spelling with the letter o by itself. Now, we saw in the video about the ah sound, the fifth vowel, that if you just have the letter o, it could be ah instead of o. However, there are many words that are spelled with just the letter O that are very common and they have the O sound. For example, go, no, don't, won't, and so. Now the good news about the O spelling patterns is that because the single letter O by itself can often be another sound like A ah or U, we often write not just the letter O, but also a silent E. Usually the silent E will change the vowel sound like we saw in the first four vowels in the front, 
but with the letter O, it actually is commonly used to mark an O sound instead of changing the sound. I know, English is complicated, but let's look at some examples. Do, mo, code, mode, bone, home, spoke. Another pretty common spelling pattern is O-W. Now this is also a common spelling pattern for the diphthong ow, which we will be talking about very soon, but it sometimes is actually just the O sound. For example, no, grow, slow, show. But then the word now is an ow sound, that diphthong I mentioned. And finally, we do have one more common spelling pattern, which is O a. In this case, the A is silent. It is not oa or oa or something like that. But for example, loan, foam, moan, roam. Yes, the name of the city in Italy, R-O-M-E, notice O-E, is also pronounced the same as R-O-A-M. Now, these, of course, are not the only ways to spell the O sound. We have some random, crazy exceptions and some strange things, but these are things that you will commonly see. Again, we're training your ears, so these are just a guide, a rule of thumb to sort of help you, but you want to really train your ears, as I've said many, many times. And finally, we have our tongue twister. Again, let's go step by step here. Slow toed loans. Don't go over. Knowing owners' homes. Slow toed loans don't go over knowing that. <laughs> Slow-toed loans don't go over knowing owners' homes. Okay, so play with that, have fun with it. Remember to make your little adjustments, but most importantly, get those lips around. Okay, we want to exaggerate as you practice, but in real speech, you don't have to go so crazy. Just make sure you have that rounding motion. In the next lesson, we will be talking about what I call the Hi schwa, and there's a reason I call it that. Don't forget to leave any questions or comments that you have. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.